Welcome everybody, Eugene here, Hughes Motorized. The fine folks at DYU asked me if I would do a video review. This cool little foldable e-bike. It's their model C3 e-bike. I'm going to give it two thumbs up. If I showed you the other thumb, I'd drop the tablet. So we're not going to go there. Just imagine there, there, there's two thumbs here, okay? There's one big drawback. And the big drawback is me. I'm a chunky boy. This bike is designed for people 165 pounds and under, and uh, I'm north to 200, okay? So uh, I got to lay off the wine and pizza that I love to have for dinner most nights, and, uh, and uh, don't be like that guy. I, I need to cut down a little. The box arrived delivered from FedEx. Everything was fine in the box here. You take the bike out. Now it comes with a handy dandy assembly tool that I'd show you, but I think my junk drawer ate it. I couldn't find it, all right? So, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's all the tools that you need to assemble the thing here. Okay, so setup is a breeze. It's real simple. All you do is unfold the handlebars, get them in the upright position, pull the latch in, clamp that in. That locks the steering tube in the upright position. You then insert the seat in the tube, clamp that down. You've got to put on the foot pedals of it. Make sure you get the right one on the right side and the left one on the left side. You then have to affix the fender support for the front fender to the front forks, the very bottom of the forks. You have a screw on each side. And then all you have to do is put the tail light assembly on the back of the rack Tighten up the two nuts, that'd be a good place for some thread locking compound. The blue, not the red. And charge this bad boy up and you're ready to roll. Alright, before you go for that first ride, you want to make sure that you have 45 PSI in your tire. So get out the pump, get out the gauge, and pump those tires up to 45 PSI. Because if you don't have it fully inflated, you're not going to get the range and you're not going to get the speed you want. Next up, you want to find your nerd helmet. Now while it's charging, let's go over some things about this bike here, okay? Um, number one, it's not expensive, okay? This is one of the least expensive e-bikes on the market. It comes from DYU. They've built a million or so e-bikes, million plus e-bikes. It's a quality e-bike, I'll give it that. But what it is not, it is not a bike that you're going to set land speed records on. You're not going to be tearing through the, uh, the countryside and the city streets doing none of that stuff for sure. It's not something you're going to go on long distance marathon runs with. So you're not going to do the gumball rally with this thing, okay? You're not going to go off-roading with it. You're not going to be doing mudding. You're not going to be doing stunt jumps. You're not going to be jumping buses like Evil Knievel, okay? Another thing this bike is not, it's not heavy. It's not big. It's not complicated, and I said it's not expensive, right? So if the range is an issue, DYU has other bikes that'll go up to 80 miles on a single charge and as well carry up to 330 pounds of rider weight and cargo. So you have options with DYU, okay? Now what the DYU C3 bike is, it's fun. It's simple. It's uncomplicated. It's something that's made for short hops, okay? Not like the bunny hop, but you're not going to be doing long rides on it, okay? Um, and it has a certain amount of range, but a big chunky boy like me, I put strains on it. So I, I got about 10 miles off of a charge, and that's, that's plenty cool, okay? Uh, for smaller riders, you're obviously going to get more range, okay? One cool thing about it is it collapses, it, it's foldable uh, per the, the factory here, and hell, it'll fit my little Fiat 500. You just collapse the, the steering stem there, get the handlebars down, remove the seat, and it'll pop in the back of my little Fiat 500. That's a plus, so it fits anywhere. It doesn't take up much space. The C3 has a 350 watt motor. It has a seven and a half amp hour battery that's built into the front tube there, the down tube. The bike is uncomplicated. There's no complicated computer screen to mess with. You just power it on. You've got the power button here on the left hand side. Press it. You'll notice the lights light up on the throttle assembly on the right hand side. Four lights equals a full charge. 
one light means you better get it charged soon son the right hand lever is for the rear brake the left hand lever is for the front brake you have a simple little bell on the handlebar so you can give people's attention you've got a headlight the little button here on the right hand side just below the throttle press that hold it for five seconds the headlight comes on and of course the taillight comes on too and a cool little feature of the taillight is when you pull in on the brake lever the taillight blinks so it, it is functional in that regard okay so you now know everything you need to know to make this thing go you got the pedals you pedal you got the twist throttle you do that and it goes okay so it has three power modes on it it has pedal only you don't even need to turn it on to do that you just pedal right you have the pedal assist mode you start pedaling you twist the throttle a little bit the motor kicks in and as long as you continue to pedal you can go ahead and kind of release the throttle bring it back to to zero and keep pedaling and the motor will continue to engage until you stop pedaling or apply the brakes and that'll shut the motor down and then as well it has the power power only mode where, where you just twist the throttle you don't need to pedal and you go and of course that reduces your range so you want to get your maximum range on this bike here you want to pedal now one cool thing about this bike here it's got that little rack in the back and that rack is just begging for a for a basket that'll make this thing a little grocery hopper for me and that's what I'm gonna do some of these bikes that I get in review I play with them for a while and I go ahead and give them to a friend or sell them whatever this one I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna do a long-term review on here I'm gonna make this my little grocery getter okay it's small enough I can with the basket in the back I can walk it into the grocery store use the basket as a shopping basket no muss no fuss and then zip on back to the house and I get to pedal a little bit and hey, if you're interested, I'll leave links down below so you can uh, get to bike direct from DYU, also with the discount, or you can get it from Amazon, your choice. Hope you like the video. If you think the video's any good and it's going to help anybody know something about the DYU C3 e-bike, give me a thumbs up. There's that subscribe button down there, and uh, you can press the notification bell, and uh, you'll get notifications when I come up with new videos. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Take care.